Hello, I'm Michael McKenna, and I look forward to narrating your next Solid Gold audiobook. I have more than 25 years of experience in broadcasting presentation, both in radio and television, focused primarily on news and sport. I also have 14 years' experience in the marketing and advertising field, where I produced many voiceovers for clients such as Coca-Cola, The Barter Shoe Company, and Colgate Palmolive, as well as having engaged my graphic design skills in campaigns for such clients and many others. I have also previously conducted Master of Ceremony duties for various corporate and local government events. My hobbies include art, in particular painting, with an aim to create a neo-impressionist movement, fishing, outdoors, drawing and reading as much as I can. I currently host an afternoon show on a local community station centered around community interest subjects, sport, music, listener feedback, interaction and traffic updates. My first book sample is an adventure extract taken from Wilbur Smith's novel, Asagai. Applying the formula that Percy Phillips had propounded to him, he calculated that this bull must stand more than 12 feet high at the shoulder, a giant among a race of giants. Leon jumped up and ran back across the riverbed. He scrambled up the bank and pushed his way through the undergrowth to where his three companions were huddled over the last scraps of honeycomb. Lucy Mama and a sweet singer have shown us the way, he told them. I have found the spore of a great bull elephant in the riverbed. The trackers snatched up their kit and ran after him, but Ishmael scooped the remains of the honeycomb into one of his pots before he hoisted his bundle onto his head and followed. My second sample focuses on a documentary narration focusing on the Congo River. The sources of the Congo are in the highlands and mountains of the East African Rift, as well as Lake Tanganyika and Lake Mweru, which feed the Lualaba River. This then becomes the Congo below Boyoma Falls. The Chambeshi River in Zambia is usually taken as the source of the Congo because of the accepted practice worldwide of using the longest tributary, as with the Nile River. My third demonstration looks at a children's book approach, in this case a section of a children's Bible. There was once a faithful man of God, who worked hard and was blessed by God. Sadly, the one thing he did not have was a child. He longed for a son, and when the Lord promised to make him the father of many nations, Abraham was happy and waited for his promised child. However, years went by, his wife Sarah still did not give him a son. I'm Michael McKenna. Thank you for listening to my audio samples. I look forward to narrating your next audiobook so that you can be heard.